Hi, the software engineering field is getting more and more competitive each year. And one of the best ways to keep your competitive edge in this market is to upskill yourself. In this video, I'm going to be sharing nine books that you should read in 2025 that will help you skill up yourself as a software engineer. Hi, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Enes. I'm a junior software engineer based here in Warsaw, Poland. And in this channel, I'm going to be sharing methods and ways that I improve myself and to help you improve yourself as well. And without further ado, let's start with today's video and the nine books. In these nine books, I have separated them into three main pillars. The first pillar is not code, but software engineering books. Some of the timeless classics that will help you improve yourself within, within your career, not directly code and programming related, but stuff that you'll be facing on every day. And the second pillar is technical, especially from intermediate to pro band that will help you improve yourself on stuff like architecture, stuff like uh, coding you know, fundamentals and more professional topics in the programming. And the third pillar is software engineering classics. These are timeless pieces that still hold a great ground in our time and I'm going to be sharing my picks for 2025 and the, thing, the ones that I'm going to be reading this year as well. So the first pillar, uh, not code but software engineering mindset, the first book under this pillar is the classic programmatic, pragmatic programmer by Andy Hunt and Dave Thomas. So what is this book about? It's a classic guide to practical problem solving and best practices in programming. This book has came up to me in any blog, any YouTube channel that I've ever, ever checked. So it's in this list. And why I want to read it, it's uh, just not programming. It's also help. It's a book that would help me uh, shaping a more professional mindset and habits in software engineering and to help you a bit help me become a better uh, programmer better, better software engineer and the second book in the list is the programmer's brain by Felian Hermans and this book is more about how programmers think and learns and with tips to improve the cognitive, cognitive, cognitive abilities that you're using during code implementation and it will help it helps you improve your code comprehension as well so why it's a perfect addition to this topic is and as someone who's still figuring out things and programming and how to think and how to approach things in a more algorithmic way i'm excited to learn and learn how to think like a better programmer and the third book in this non-technical software engineering pillar is algorithms to live by by brian christian and tom griffiths so what is this book about it explores how algorithms from computer science can optimize real life decision making so why i want to read it I'm curious about how algorithms apply outside of code, like in scheduling or problem solving. And also, this book was recommended to me by mentor at work, so it holds a special place in this list as well. And coming to the second pillar, it's technical, the books that will especially more on topics, not beginner wise, but more from intermediate to pro level that will help you and me to become more confident in ourselves. They're mainly Python focused because I'm mainly Python focused. If you are a JavaScript, Java or a C developer, C programmer, feel free to replace these books with any other book that helps you within your own field. The first one is Python Distilled. It's a concise, oh, from the first one is Python Distilled, Distilled by David Beasley. It is a concise guide to mastering Python, written by a Python expert. And why I want to read it, since it's my primary programming language uh, in my field, especially in data engineering, I want to understand the nuances and details of Python better. And the second book in this list, which I'm currently leading, it came from the previous year, is uh, 
Architectures Python, Architecture Patterns with Python, Bob Gregory and Harry Percival. It's an O'Reilly book, which is a great publisher, by the way. Highly recommend all of their books. And it, what is it about? It combines Python program with mo modern software architecture principles. It's a book that touches the same topic from a very different fields, like event-driven uh, design, domain-driven design, like test-driven design, test-driven development. All of these fields, the same problem is approached from different points of views, and it really enables you to see the things from different perspectives and understand it from a much better perspective. So I've been reading this book. I'm not done with it yet, but I highly recommend this to anyone who wants to get a broader view on software engineering, especially with Python examples. So the last book on the pillar of technical from intermediate to pro is Python Programming, an Introduction to Computer Science by John Zell. So what is this about? It's a beginner friendly introduction to programming concepts using Python and going a bit deeper into the underlying workings of Python as well. So if you're someone who hasn't had a lot of, uh, like myself, you're someone who hasn't had a lot of hands-on work with lower level programming languages and you want to refresh on your uh, fundamental knowledges, computer science knowledge in 2025, this book is one of the right ones for you. So coming back to third and the last pillar in this video is the software engineering classics. I'm sure you've heard many of these books before, but with this video, I would like to remind you, remind you to read these books. If you read them before again, if not, from ground up to read these books. So the first one is Clean Code by Uncle Bob, Robert, Robert C. Martin. It is It teaches the art of writing clean, maintainable, and readable code. And I really want to read this book. I'm actually thinking of learning a bit more Java because I heard it's more with Java examples. And it proposes more one of the most uh, fundamental uh, topics of programming, especially on industry scale, especially on industry, not academically, but industry wise. So the second one, again, from Uncle Bob, Robert Martin, uh, clean architecture. This is another classic software engineering classic. It focuses on building software architectures that stand the test of time. And I'm as I start to work on larger and larger projects, I'm in I'm quite eager to learn the principles of good architecture and clean architecture and how to maintain that architecture. And last but not least in all of this list is the blue book, the classic domain driven design by Eric Evans. Uh, it explains how to align software design with business needs by focusing on the domain. I have take I have the initial uh, introduction that I've got in domain driven design has been on the book that I have recommended before in uh, architecture patterns with Python. And after reading some of the concepts and the way they apply the business logic within code, uh, this book has gotten into my list this year to be able to read this year as well. And I'm quite curious about it. So uh, these are the nine books that cover everything from technical skills to cognitive, cognitive development to software design. Uh, I highly recommend you to read them uh, this year. And if you read any of these books, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any other books to read within this year to upskill yourself as a software engineer, please also write them in the comment section below so we can also take note of them as well. Anyway, thank you very much.